Okay, so I'm actually gonna start this out talking about social media real quick. Um, we've been Meg and Barry and the entire community team has been working their ass off trying to get our, you know, actual social media going. Um, we're right now we're focusing primarily on TikTok and YouTube. Um, sorry, TikTok and Twitter. My bad. Um, so if you haven't followed the Twitter. It'd be great. Meg has a personal goal that she's trying to uh, to reach. So you would all do some some really cool things for Meg. So if you haven't followed the Twitter, please follow that Twitter. We're trying to get to a hundo followers on that one. We're like twenty five away, I think. Um, so that would be that would be just swell of uh, of you guys. Uh, if you don't have a Twitter, that's fine. It is uh, a cesspool now, so you don't have to actually make one. It's very weird, Lucy, that you don't have a Twitter, actually. <laughs> I know. Um, okay. Uh, everyone vote Kick Plasma for spam. Okay. <laughs> hey, Theo. Uh, next on the docket. Yes, by the way, I'm back. My LOA was great. Uh, I used it to focus on some exams at work. I passed the exams. Yay, go me. Uh, however, next on the LOA chain is our two incredible managers two of our incredible managers miss sapphire and mr theo they're going on forced loas as well uh so they'll be gone for a while um so if we are slightly behind you know on any tickets please bear with this we're going to be two staff short for the next at least week and it's it's two powerhouse staffers so uh bear with us guys at the end of the day uh no one's actually paid here believe it or not uh i pay money for the privilege so take it easy on our customer service abilities <clears throat> you're gonna miss the old lot stacy don't you know lie okay so um i'm gonna go kind of in order on these questions uh as they were um posted okay and then, uh, Plasma, is there anything that you wanted to talk about specifically? Uh, nope, I'm here for development questions. Okay. So question number one was business applications. Uh, this was posted by Barry, I believe, uh, talking about how people are inquiring about business apps. Uh, yeah, I think that right now we need to get the current businesses um, 100% fine-tuned to perfection before I start messing around with putting new ones in. We still want to do a lot of businesses um, that are in city, you know, like taco trucks, hot dogs, you know, shit like that. Um, but I, I want to focus on our current restaurants and get them like good, good, good. Uh, I do know that we have started the process to get oil and gas stations going. I started that and then I walked away for a week for my LOA. So I do need to have a chat with the people who have been involved in that in order to get some better feedback. Um, Cause I want to let you guys own gas stations and oil rigs and stuff like that. There's just so many kinks for it that I, I want to get worked out. Right. Okay. Next question was green zones. I think this one was by crystal, I believe. Um, Listen, I'm going to be honest. I, uh, I hate green zones. I do. I do. The last time we removed green zones, y'all turned it into a Call of Duty map, which wasn't super cash money for me. Uh, when I say it, I mean the hospital. But, and, and maybe Plasma can shine some light on some time frame on this. I've come up with a decision. I'm going to remove the green zones. They're not being removed yet. You'll have an announcement about it. But the green zones are going to be fully removed. There's going to be no more green zones in the city. Uh, and the way that's going to work is going to work in two parts. So part number one, the uh, LSPD BCSO Joint Commission um, are going to be uh, working on an SOP. Wait, what, Tater? Ban you? What the fuck? Anyways. The law enforcement are going to be working on a joint SOP to um, 
have a lockdown procedure of the hospital. So that way, if they're arresting a high profile, high violent, things like that individual, the LEOs will have the power to lock down the hospital. And that includes the front doors as well. But the other times, you know, when it's just normal and there's not a high value target, we are going to be putting metal detectors in front of the doors at the hospital. So when you go to the hospital, any weapon you have on your person that contains metal, so pretty much anything except for a bat and a hockey stick, is going to get removed from your inventory. And then it'll be put back when you leave the hospital. How is a wooden Louisville Slugger bat not metal? I'm probably going to replace the bat. Yeah, I mean, if the bat's metal, that's fine. So the hockey sticks, they can stay. I always think of the bat as a wooden bat. I can just change the graphic, bro. I'll do that. Plasma, we're going to change the image of the bat to a wooden bat. Okay. That's fine. Wait, why? Because I don't want the, the bat to be on the metal detector. Yeah, but the bat, like, when you hold it, is not wooden. I'll... I. That's changeable. I'll fix it. I'll update the bat to be wooden. I don't want it to be in the metal detector. I guess for now it'll be in the metal detector. So hockey six. If you got hockey six, you'll be able to get those in. Uh, those have metal, man. Actually, no, they're actually carbon fiber and composite. Never mind. There you go. See that? Well, I guess that's a type of metal now. Uh, Daria, what, what do you mean the important things are getting done? Yeah, the emotional support pipe bridge, unfortunately. What, Adaria, what do you mean? I, I don't, I don't know what that means. The bats, yeah. Oh, were you talking shit? That's fine. Um, yeah. So we'll get the metal detectors in, and uh, that'll hopefully solve the green removing of the green zone issue. So there should be no more shooting. Uh, in the hospital, and that way, in terms of lockdown, the cops have control, so when they have a high-value target, they can lock it down per, per they need. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, do we have any questions on the green zone of the hospital? Is everyone cool with that? Does that kind of is that kind of like a good you know middle ground for the metal detectors and things like that? The hospital is the only green zone right now. Yeah. Yeah, like you can shoot outside of the hospital, right? It's just well, the doors are yeah. Eventually, um, right. Dun, 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 dun. I I don't think we need PDM as a green zone. Like I said, we're I'm not these changes aren't going live yet. But I don't think I, I don't think we need PDM as a green zone. Um I don't yeah, I don't think it you know at the end of the day it kind of goes based on other rules. Like if somebody's in the fucking screen trying to pick out a car and that's when you decide to fuck with the person. That's not a green zone issue. That's a whole different issue. Yeah, just to let you guys know, just in general, I've got the entire staff team. Uh, well, the entire community team as of right now, we're re-going through the rule book and I'm trying to take out and simplify as much as I possibly can. Um, I, I want to start removing you know, some rules um, so that we can, you know, like I'm, I'm trying to let the RP dictate the rules. Like that's the goal. It's always been the goal. It's just some people, you know, have to just role play better. You know, At the end of the day, this is whitelisted city. So we should be able to expect certain levels of, you know, role play out of people. Hang on a second. Check my DM. Yeah, it's, it's kind of just in general. The more rules I take away, I need 
people to have a higher standard on themselves, right? That's what I meant by that one. Next question was the heist. So heist update is coming. That's the next big update that we're working on. Um, it's going to get released in waves, though. Well, it's not soon. Like, it's starting How about you weekend. not speak for me, and I'll take care of that one? Go ahead. Okay. So, criminal update, everybody. Uh, the drugs. So, the drugs are going to be completely economy reworked. And then once those are all dialed in, then we'll add some more drugs to come. Um, and then also, the way you sell drugs will also get some love. And then... Like Wesker said, it's gonna be waves. We're not gonna we're gonna do our best to never do an update like the last one to where like half the server code changes and it's really hard to manage everything. So the drugs will come in a wave, petty crime will come in a wave, heist will come in a wave, new heist will come in a wave, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So when it comes to heists and anything like you're robbing something, what we're gonna be doing is updating and giving love to everything that currently exists in the server. And then once that's done, we're going to add more heists. So something like an oil rig, a bobcat, um, Polito Bank, the vault, etc. To answer the question in chat, no. The drugs that you currently have will not become useless. Right now, the main problem is the economy around them. So we're not changing items again. We're not doing anything like that. We're just adjusting the numbers to, so that the numbers make sense. So, like, I know that people yep. that have been here for a while, cocaine has literally changed, like, what the actual coke item was. That's not happening. Um, Adaria, like, like Plasma said, it's, that's petty crime. The, the whole next update is all based on crime. Yeah, like, there's a... We have a lot of things that we're going through. It'll, it'll all be released in waves, and we'll take a look at suggestions once our list is done. But it's going to be a big update over, I would say, a month or so. Um, Nar Narlos, that's actually a good idea, too. And I think that when we... When we... Um, get to the point that we can add new drugs, that's definitely something that we can do. Fishing. Someone talked about fishing. Yeah, Plasma. Someone talked about fishing. Uh, okay, fishing. Uh, Wesker was supposed to make me a storyboard for like ideas he had. What three days ago now? He never did. So we're just kind of waiting on Wesker to do his job, and then your boy will make the script. <laughs> yeah, Wesker's been busy. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hello, <laughs> way. Um. Do we have any? So. Guys, I'm trying to be transparent with y'all. When we're, we're, we understand that the drug economy is not good right now, okay? We designed a team. I've got a game manager, two admins, and they're going to pick out a bunch of testers. They're going to go through, and we're fixing the numbers. So the sell prices, how much you get from crafting, how much crafting, like everything that outputs x amount or y amount or z amount that's what's going to get adjusted like for like crack right now i i know that you lose money trying to convert some um some things for crafting that's the shit that we're going to fix yeah well aware for sure um no excuses like sorry that it that it happened like that uh but at the end of the day we we're a small team we're sp like relatively small in terms of like devs. Skateboards are no longer available to buy. We need them. Hey, that's a when we when we transitioned over to the new inventory. That's it changed the shops over. So, um, I know that we need so skateboards. I know that we need dice. If you guys can think of all the shit that we're missing, get together, throw in the bug ticket, and uh, we can. Get that fixed. That's the that's easy one. You ain't getting parachutes in shops, Silver. What the hell? Plasma, someone's asking if you need assistance on the deaf side of things. 
Yeah, randoms just make a ticket. We make always a, need a, devs. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's an application on the website. Is there I not? Am. There is. There is actually. Uh, so Ryan blaming you. I get it. Okay. Oh no, there's actually not an app. There's an assistant app on there. If you want to actually be a dev, a... make it a ticket. Gang clothing. There was a question about gang clothing. Um, I want to bring this up actually. So, gang clothing and clothing lists. This was by Ken. Ken is Ken here? Mizuki, are you here? I don't. I don't know if Mizuki's here. Okay, so. Um, I, the short answer is no, I'm not going to lock gang, gang clothing to like a whitelist status. Uh, I don't like that. I think it, it definitely prevents RP. Um, if I want to, yeah, like if, if I want to, you know, if I'm a gang member and I want to shoot somebody down and, and take their bandana, I want to be able to take their bandana. Right. Um, so the, as the rule book states, what we've said is that you can, press people for wearing your actual like color not colors your actual clothing right so like the uh, cartel for example they have a cartel chain right so if the cartel sees somebody we're not in the cartel wearing that chain for sure press them over it but they're not going to press somebody over wearing like black and red right just like a Bloods gang will not start beating everybody up for wearing um, red. Not, not, not me. I almost said blue. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, and, that, and that's what I'm saying too. Specific clothing items. Yeah. So like if there was like, you know, like a special Bloods bandana worn in a certain way, that's a, that's a flag, right? Press over that. If someone's walking down wearing a blue t-shirt, yeah, like you can, you can talk to them about it, but you're not going to make somebody take off a blue t-shirt. And I hope that answered the question as best as we can. And truly this, this post actually, so if y'all haven't read this question, I'm reading it out loud. As someone fairly new to the city, I noticed that several gangs have their exclusive clothing lines. However, these clothings are available to anyone in the shop, which can lead to confusion and accidental theft. I was wondering if it's possible to create a list. Additionally, it would help to have a list of gangs and their official colors on them. So essentially, and this person said that, um, the one that why not sorry siren says why not make change fiscal items and dentist fiscal items so it brings more conflict yeah there they are we're going to add more to that as well vest and shit like that um well no what what and and i wish mizuki was here um Because this, they said, I understand that you will have to get this info from RP, but I had a friend who got thrown into the water on the first day for wearing one of the items from a gang. Some people go for violence than a warning, unfortunately. I wish, like, like I said, I wish they were here because I don't think that was from our city. I don't know of any gang here that would have just rolled up on somebody wearing gang clothes and immediately ocean dumped them. Uh, that's shit RP for sure. Uh, and I don't think there's a single gang here that would have done that. Um, but if you guys are doing that, that's, that's stupid. Don't, don't do that. Stop ocean dumping. Ocean dumping is lame. It stops our, our RP. Yeah. Cut it out. Okay. I don't think, uh, need to talk about that anymore. Moving on to Gurkha. Listen, I'm going to have a meeting with the PD about the proper use of the Gurkha. Um, Tyler, if you can chat in town hall and let everybody know when the Gurkha is supposed to be, when it's allowed to be used. While Tyler's ch uh, typing that, we can't fix the Gurkha from being full bulletproof right now. It's, it's bulletproof in the actual 3D model. So th there's, there's nothing we can do right now. All we can do is kind of just, you know, make sure people aren't being you know, shitty with it. Yeah, so essentially a bank truck should not be showing up to a bank or sorry, a bank heist shouldn't call for the Gurkha. Um, and guys, this just goes on for you. Please submit the videos, right? If you have a cop 
that is abusing the Gurkha and they're being shitty with the Gurkha, it's that's that's an easy one, okay? Just handle it with an RP and report them. If you don't feel like that's the route, fucking make a ticket and and we'll get it taken care of. Is a PD gang here? What? PD gang doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. PD gang's not is not real. Carmen, if that's the case, please report that. That's it's jokingly enough. No. And if that becomes a problem, the PD chain will be taken out of the city. Like truly, it's the role play standards for everybody, right? We don't want, I don't want to see any officers dressed out in all black, wearing all black masks, just, you know, if I get pulled over and an officer is just completely murdered out with black mask, black headgear and everything else like that, wearing a PD gang chain, that's a problem. PD gang chain is locked to certain members. It's not an undercover when you just walk around full SWAT gear. But Carmen, all, all I can say on that, <clears throat> you got to let us know, right? Like, even if, even if you're concerned with something, make a ticket, talk, talk it out. If, if it's, if what's happening is what's supposed to be happening, we'll let you know. But we can only fix problems that we know exist. And the chief and the assistant chief are two of my better admins. So they would love to figure stuff out. No, um, you haven't. I, that's coming up soon, Moxie. <clears throat> Next up is the Bison trade-in. I'm going to look at, um, I'm going to look at the, uh, like Plasma, I think we talked about adding in like a car trading system to giving you like reduced money back. Um, I know that before we had the, uh, Silver, yes, we have a DOJ system. There's, there's channels Can in I the Discord. Can I talk about that real quick before we keep the, going? The DOJ? The DOJ? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so we have a wonderful team for the DOJ like we have two really active judges and we have a really good clerk and the whole system is in place but nobody's applying to be an attorney and we really need attorneys so if you're interested please go on the website and make an attorney application we are in desperate need of attorneys desperate need of attorneys because I, I mean that's really the only thing that's lacking when it comes to DOJ is there's nobody to represent anybody so please please apply that's it Nice. Um, as for the bison trading, did we want to do something for let people trade in cars and get some of the value back? I personally would rather do a used car market and make like a script for a used car dealer. Could have a player ran or something. No, like we're like that's what we talked about before to have that player ran used car dealership because pickle our current our current car set like pickle allows it. Um, but okay. Yeah, it would. Wolf, yeah, you're right. Kind of is what it is. Okay. Before I talk about the econ, I'll talk about the Ellie real quick. Um, I've been told by several people the Ellie needs to be automatic. Uh, Plasma, I'll let you talk on that one if you want. I mean, what do you want me to say? I, I don't agree. I, don't, I also don't care, but... I know during testing feedback, it was suggested that it should stay automatic and it was just made manual. I, I think. Yeah, but it's also a, people just want it automatic because they like the car and they don't want it manual. It has nothing to do with like the way it drives. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I'm saying. I, I think maybe we can give a give and take, have some kind of what the, the post says, right? Um, 
hang on, sorry, I'm trying to read. What did, how did they word this? No, nope, that's not the one. The one. Uh, they already have cars like the Dominator, Infernus, and several others um, that are manual. Uh, some of the mediocre drivers should have some good muscle cars other than just the gauntlet. Yeah, Daria, that's just, I mean, it's a matter of opinion, man. You can ask 10 people how a car handles and you're going to get 10 different answers. Lily Bubblegum Palsman is asking if there can be a manual and a automatic I'll explain you why not. Okay, so. Um, oh, wait, you mean have two different cars, two different of yeah. the same? Hmm. Well, okay, I'm not a vehicle developer, so, like, I can't do shit like that and, like, model work and stuff. It's obviously possible to duplicate the same model and have two. Um, but, yeah, okay, but as for, like, when the mechanic update comes, right, you'll be able to turn cars into manual. But the reason it can't be the other way around, like, manual to automatic is because to make it balanced, we also, like, adjust the base handling of the cars that are manual. So the manual cars have a lot more power output. I mean, take the Dominator, for example. That thing is really fast in a straight line. But you have the balance because you have to shift gears. So in a chase, if you're not a good driver and you're not good at shifting, the Dominator's dog shit unless you, you're good at what you're doing, right? So that's how it gets balanced out. But at some point, we'll make manual transmission swaps. But also, like, we, we do want some cars to be manual by default so that, one, you guys can experience the system, and two, we can make some cars skill-based. I mean, even the PD has a, a manual interceptor, which definitely needs to get tuned, but we're just trying to make it to where there's some cars that are just really based on skill to where the people that are, like, passionate about driving, the racers and all that stuff, they can have that part as well. Yeah, so to the answer on the LE, I'll talk to the vehicle devs and see if we can start doing a give and take so that we're not punishing everybody who can't drive the manual. Look, I'm one of them. Bro, I, I got, before I killed my cop character off, I got done in by somebody in a club, bro. Like, I got fucking destroyed by, by a club in manual. And then I went to go drive a car, bro. I didn't even know how to start it. Like, I was like, fucking, I don't, I don't drive manual. Um... Yeah, so I'm I'm with you. I'll see um I'll see what I can do, but I'll talk to the vehicle devs on that one. <laughs> okay, economy. Curry, I think I kind of said it in the dev development chat. I agree with everybody that we we shouldn't do every cool looking muscle car or cool looking car manual. That it's okay to give kind of a give and take, and the Ellie's a popular car. It's been brought to my attention that there's several people that are advocates for it on being an automatic. So, um, I think I think it'll be okay to make the the Ellie an auto. There's plenty of other manual muscle cars right now, but we'll we'll discuss later. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the economy. Let's let's talk about the economy. I don't. <sighs> How can I say this? I don't know if the economy is an actual problem. Now, uh, I've been talking, I've been discussing it with my staff quite a bit. I don't, I don't think the economy is based on a legal economy that is five thousand dollars an hour. Um, and I, if it, I like, I don't know the the like there's no outcome right like i can't just make it to where the legal jobs pay more money because then i've got to <clears throat> make it to where all the illegal jobs pay more money and then if everybody's getting money then i've got to say um then i've got to make everything else more expensive or else everybody then it just turns into a v so there's two there's for the five emers out there there's two types of 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 rp cities that you can that you can go for okay you can go for an economy-based city, or you can go for a V-menu-based city. There's nothing wrong with either or, right? 
we run an economy based city, which means you got to do X amount of tax jobs and things to get money in order to, um, yeah, oh, real quick, by the way, Cody, that's every five minutes. So you're, you're making well more than 117 an, an hour. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyways, yeah. Cops and EMS are the most fucking over, not overpaid, but they're the highest paid people in the city. The leaderboard definitely shows that, but um, no expenses for them. That's why. But but anyways, so when you have an economy based city, everything has to go for like, like that's just how it is. Like it's it's based on like inflation in in real life. I can't make it to where, you know, if you get thirty k doing one job, then like it it gets so ridiculous and then that's how people just get bored right like people are just gonna say i don't care about this i've got 30 million dollars in my account i'm just gonna go do nothing but pure rp that's where v menu that's where a lot of people like v menu if you've never played the v menu city look it's you you just do whatever you want you literally have it's like everybody has an admin menu you give yourself whatever money you want, whatever items, clothing, fucking whatever you want, because it's just role play. Um, I'll be honest, those cities are generally not as popular these days because people don't just want just the RP because there's no there's no fear, right? Like if if this was a V menu city, you don't you don't give a shit if you get caught by the cops because you're not losing anything. That's why the economy has to kind of be what it is. That's why there's that inflation, because if you rob a bank, you need some fear to get into you from getting pulled over, right? Because, you know, you're about to lose money. You're about to lose guns, items, weapons, time. Like, that's the thrill of being a criminal and, and robbing. Yeah, and, and there's no doubt that some people are going to be, you know, definitely wealthier than others based on, you know, what they can do um, in the groups that they're in, you know, like I'll, I'll tell you when the cartel first came in with the amount of people the cartel had, they kind of made us realize that our economy wasn't as good as what we thought it was because of the, like the group. Right. And I've got to, um, yeah, V mini gets boring just because there's, there's no satisfaction of achievement. So we have to kind of see of, who is making the least versus who is making the most. And then we just got to. Well, Moxie. That's yeah. And, and for, like, I don't, there's no answer that I can give you, you know, I would love to be able to give, you know, incentives for RP and things like that, but there's, I can't set the economy based on one person playing an hour or a two. And that's just the unfortunate, um, that's just the unfortunate part of it. Yeah. Like I'll tell you that if you were to work at a bar or a restaurant, do the amount of money that, um, people make in tips is kind of outrageous. Like, hell, I even used to fucking w would tip people a lot. Um, we're, I'm definitely I would say open. like go on on the crim side i I can agree that unless you're doing heists it's it may be a little rough right now, but also there's house robberies and house robberies pay pretty fucking stupid right now too so I think once the drugs come out and there's more petty crime, it won't seem as bad but like if you're doing heists right now or house robberies, you're making really good money. So I know it gets boring and repetitive, but that's what the crim updates for. But like when people say that it's hard to make money as a crim, I, I don't see it because of, you know, house robberies and heists, like you, you can make so much money. Yeah. I, like I said, guys, I'm open up to su with suggestions. You yeah, know, like I, too. I definitely want to make some more legal ways of making money. Like I'm definitely open to suggestions. But I can't, unfortunately, I cannot, I've, I have to base the economy over the city average or else 
you know, that's a that's a quick way for an economy to die, honest, or a city to die is a bad eco. I mean, you guys are saying it here in chat, like my last city had 30 million. 30. Nobody wants that, you know? Just giving time for some people to type. Well, Mark, you're part of the cartel. You should be said for that, right? Yeah. Um, Lily said event-based jobs that pay everyone participating a good amount of money also make people meet up in RP. Event-based job. Um. Well, I think, too, what would be cool is... I know that we talked about... So, like, the Class 3 weapons and things like that, we've talked about doing you know, rewarding those things based on role play. Maybe we can start doing um, money incentives based on role play as well. Um, so we, we can look into something like that for sure. It's like Plasma, instead of giving somebody a fucking blueprint, give them like 10K or something. Yeah, it's well, that's but yeah, those are things that we can just look into. Um, I'm sorry they don't allow you to go on more heists. That's yeah, that's shitty. Sorry, Moxie. Yeah. Um, I, Moxie, the only thing that I can suggest to you is that there are several businesses hiring. Um, yeah, I, like I know there's several businesses hiring. There's a lot of heist groups out there that would that would love to probably take you on a heist. Um, things like that. There's 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 options for you that that would enhance your rp i will um, say like one of the, being one of those people that you know you don't fly in that often and you you're more for the rp being a business employee is probably a great option for you because you'll have that rp interaction non-stop and you're making i mean they make good money they get hourly and they get tips also so vin scratching and boosting Plasma, do you just want to talk about that real quick? It's been asked twice now. I mean, all there is to say is it's planned. It's on the list for the Crim update. I mean, I don't want to give details right now because it's we're not even close to being at that script yet. So there's just no point in talking about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Carmen, when you say not hourly for the businesses, yeah, they don't make... Um they do get businesses businesses are set to get hourly checks yeah all, all businesses get hourly checks so it's been like that for a while well all food businesses food mechs, businesses mechs aren't you get commissions and depending on your shop will depend on how much your shop owner gives you in bonus i can't give mechs like it, it's an economy thing i can't give mechs an hourly check because it doesn't make sense um the new system, like the sh like the new mechanic stuff, is gonna definitely assist in that. Once we do vehicle failures, giving you the option to go out into the field, um, like you you do get that commission right now. And like I said, if your shop, if you know your shop is seeing thirty, forty customers, uh, say in say say you service a hundred cars out of a week. I'm sure there's a lot of money that that shop made. So that owner should be giving you some sort of a bonus for your work. If he's not, go on strike. RP it up. And honestly, the once the mechanic update comes along, it's everything is going to change. It's not going to be remotely the same. So yeah, like there's you guys are going to get fucking special tow trucks, be able because people's cars going to break down and they're going to need a a thing. Like there, like there's the uh, look. I'm not going to talk about mechanics this town hall. I've I've already kind of said that. 
in the last town hall. I agree mechanic system here is terrible. It will be fixed. That's a that's a promise. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, it's basically non-existent. It's not even bad. Yeah, it just honestly yes. doesn't even exist. So yeah. Trust me. Like I understand I, it's frustrating if you are a mechanic, but you just kind of have to bear with us on that. It'll be done so good when we get to that point. We we gotta get through the crime and heist. Next question is, uh, I'll just do some quickies real quick. So melee weapons, yes, they're still being looked at. We understand that the melee weapons were um, kind of accidentally wiped during the process of SWAT being over. I know Plasma is still looking into that. Um, we'll come up with a solution as soon. It's on our minds. Um, the slash me being visible again. I've already talked to Plasma about this. I... I personally want to put up just a brand new chat in to kind of help with that. But regardless, we'll get something like that going. What I'll do, um, it's going to be off by default because I personally, it's kind of annoying. I know a lot of people don't like seeing it, but then I know the ones in the suggestion, you guys like seeing it. So I, I can make it to where you can enable seeing slash me's in chat and it'll save. So you don't have to do it every time. Yeah. But personally, I, I can't stand my chat being filled with that garbage. I guess not garbage, but bad, <laughs> bad language. Apologies. I hate my chat having anything in it, to be <laughs> honest. I can't stand it. We can. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Lily says just use slash clear chat. Bro, if you've uh, ever been like before this new EMS system, if you were near like EMS working on three people, the entire left side of your screen was just white text. Oh, I know. Uh, having the option to toggle it on and off would be great. So yeah, that. that's that's what we could do. Um, aircraft dealership for planes uh, and helicopters. That was a question. Yes, there will be a dealership slash school that will handle flight licenses that will be player controlled. There will never be sold uh civilian helicopters ever he's if lying. you see it's ev ever he's lying he's lying no nah, i can i can reward some through role play but nobody will be able to go up to a dealership and just buy a helicopter even with a license through rp even with if you have a license through rp you can buy an airplane not a helicopter lame you can he's role lame. play don't worry I, i'm making it happen guys don't worry no it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen. It will. It's gonna happen, guys. Don't worry. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, helicopters are OP. Uh, they are used for abuse a lot. Uh, and ah, just, just, some... just make it to where you can't use it in crime. If you use it in crime, you lose it. That's why they're gonna be they're gonna be used for role play purposes. Plasma. Yeah, it's just Stop. fun. Will be used for role play. Like I'm trying to go mile high club, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, in the airplane, you can. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so <clears throat> last question, 18 plus city, um, look, I shouldn't have to explain to y'all the, the fine line on what is fine to say versus what is sexually explicit content. It's okay to talk about sex and, and, and boobs and butts, but fuck man, like it's just don't get explicit with it. Like, have normal conversation. Normal conversation. Like, a normal conversation is okay to talk about. Like, well, I say this because, you know, some of my staff have told me that there's people in city that feel like if they talk about sex, they're going to get banned. That's not true. I don't want to give you the example that I gave my staff team, but it was pretty clear. There, You guys are all adults. You should be able to know the difference between something that is just generally accepted to say versus something that is fucking, you know, sexually explicit and gross. And borderline harassment. <laughs> no one's done this. I'm saying it's allowed. It, it's, it, and it's like, in terms of an 18 plus city, also, look, y'all fucking, the item Wesker's milk, I'm gonna be honest. Never did I ever think of that being something to be taken in a sexual way, ever. 
I get that with the image being broken that you can't see the context, but the original image was a literal glass of fucking milk. Like, I get it. Yeah, honest, honest to God, y'all have to understand. So y'all don't have the context and I context helps from my last city when we did farming and bug bug can fucking defend me on this one. The, on my last city, the cow was literally named Wesker. So when you milked the cow, it gave you Wesker's milk. It was a throwback for Bug and I to go, oh, let's put Wesker's milk back in. And I don't know, I'm not fucking, uh, my mind doesn't go there for every single time. So I, I didn't think of it being fucking a sexually explicit item. <laughs> so anyways that's all i have to say about that in terms of 18 plus look 18 plus is the mental age not the not the age on your fucking uh not the age on your fucking birth certificate i've known several people between the age of 15 and 17 have a incredibly fucking more mature mind on them than some people i know that are in the 30s and 40s Okay, uh, imports. The answer for imports. We finally have one. All import owners will soon be brought into a ticket. You will be told the steps moving forward. Um, on on what you're gonna do. I'm gonna say this now so that people. Yeah, I'll just no. Uh, yeah, I'll fuck it. I'll say I'll say the. Might player. as well, bro. Honestly. Yeah. Okay. So. If you have an import that you were given from, like, it was willed to you, or something like that. Or transferred any way, shape, or form. Or transferred, yeah, transferred in any way. If you had an import purchased for you, that's different, right? We'll have to talk about it. But if you had, a, if you had an import that was transferred to you, you're not going to, I'm under no responsibility to make sure you get that import back. It's going to go to its original owner. If the original owner then wants to have a conversation about you getting that import, that's going to be between us and the original purchaser of the import. If the owner isn't in city anymore, then that's a, well, those are just bridges that we'll have to cross. Those are case by cases, right? No, at the end of the day, it's, it's the purchaser, right? Yeah, uh, generalize, like to make this very clear, if you spent money, and you paid the server directly, you are who's getting the refund. Or not refund, sorry, bad terminology. I'll but explain. you're being compensated. Yeah. So the way that we're going to do the compensation for these, right, is we have a list of import cars that are coming into the city, right? It is, it is, um, it's a shit ton of cars, okay? So rather than me have to go through and sit here and start replacing everybody's cars and you getting a car that you might not want, I'm not doing that. Soon we're going to be switching back to Tebex. For all the people who have subscribed on Patreon, thank you. I'm sorry that, I, that we've switched. <laughs> that we've switched, that we're switching back again. I know it's frustrating. I know I'm, we're probably going to lose subs when we do switch again. I, I'm sorry, but I got to go back to Tebex. When we go back to Tebex and we release the imports, the current, pe the people who were purchasers of the imports will get their value that they spent as a gift card to the Tebex. You can use that to rebuy all the imports, or I know that we have pets coming out um, at some point, so there will be premium for pets. Use it to subscribe for a long time. I don't care how you use it, but that's how it'll be used. From there, if you want to buy somebody an import, then you can do it. But it's, it's, I'm not about to start tracking down 100 people. I'm going to go to the purchases. Um, stuff like that, Robbie, uh, it's, I just, you and I will have that com that conversation because your purchaser isn't here anymore. So that's one of those, like, that's a bridge that I'll just cross. So you, me, Tater, and oh, if Tyler, yeah, then Tyler's getting, if Tyler bought him, then he's going to get all the, you know, the money back for him. So just, okay. Obviously these case by case things, you guys can handle these in tickets, but the yeah. general thing, if you 
when we dropped that menu at PDM where you could spend coins in game to buy cars, if you're one of those people, we have a massive list of everybody. Uh, I have your names, your transactions through PayPal, Cash App, whatever you did. That's the list we're going to use to give everybody gift cards on the Tebex. Now, it's very possible one or two of you guys were missed. So if we do end up saying everything's done and for some reason you were not included, just open up a ticket, grab the transaction ID from whatever method you use to pay us, and then we'll get you sorted. Joey, I understand that some people permit their character. Again, I'm going, I'm going to the purchaser. It's not has nothing to do with the character because we've had we've this is our way of trying to deal with the the curveball that Rockstar threw at us by saying that we can't have these cars and we can't do this system anymore. Right. So because this was all OOC money, it's going it's going to be handled OOC. Now, like your deer bike, things like that. It's yeah, those are the times when I said cross the, you know. Cross that bridge. Um, I know Robbie for your bike. I know that your, your bike was special too. That's again, that's a bridge that we'll just cross, but it's for the people that just, you know, rockstar threw us this curveball. This is the best way that we can do it. You know, if Tony spent 500 bucks, he's going to get a $500 gift card to the Tevex. And then with that, Tony can decide he, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. You can buy $500 with the cars. Like I said, pet clothing, shit, shit like that. Just as an example, you can gift people cards. It doesn't matter. Um, do do with it as you please. Um, the imports are going to be done in a tiered system. Um, so we'll, when we release the imports, there's going to you're going to be able to buy a key. We will for the people who I know can not do anything. Uh, OOC money wise, I understand. There will be ways to get import vehicles through role play or through events and things that we do i'm just letting you know now i'm 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 going to do that but at the end of the day i this is the first time i've talked about wildfire and money in a long time the city has got to make some form of income like like we're all adults here you guys all know that like we're we're dedicated a lot of people are dedicating a lot of time to making sure this thing runs um so one of those things, this is part of the, this is just part of it. So it's going to be a key system. There's going to be a bronze, silver, gold, and platinum key. Um, okay, wait, is it platinum or is it diamond? What, however you already have it, that's fine. I don't, because you only told me gold, silver, and bronze, and then plat uh, plasma the other day said diamond. Okay, do diamond. That's fine. Okay. Um, the keys prices are not set, but they're going to range from anywhere from like 25 bucks to a key or 35 bucks to a key to like, it's like a hundred north of a hundred something, a key. Uh, we're no longer going to do one of ones. So that's the big one. No more one of ones. We will do like one of fives. We'll do limited edition runs, but no more one of ones. Okay, I think, I think, oh, pets, yeah. We've identified the, we know what script we're going to use for pets. We know, I'll even link Before you Before we talk pet. about pets, to uh -huh. answer Tyler, because I'm sure there's other 101 zoners in here. Um, again, it's it's going to be like the imports. Whatever you paid is is what you're going to get back as a gift card. It's, it's going to be the same way for the one of one people. There you go. Vera, keys aren't monthly. They're just one-time buys. It's a bowl we, of sunshine. We have right? a record. Yes. We 1,000% have a record for, the, for the, the duplicate vehicles. The one-of-ones, I mean, obviously, they're, me and Wesker can find the transactions, but it's also going to be 
up to you guys too to help us out because we didn't do the greatest job tracking the 101s to be honest with you guys uh i i can get the information a thousand percent in the database but it is easier for you guys to come to us so there's okay for example nala your deer bike that's a unique car i'm not worried about somebody else wanting that car that's something different that's a that's a bridge that we cross right i'm gonna let i guess let's put it this way there will be cars that certain gangs will can get themselves locked to certain groups certain people can get themselves locked to as a unique if it's a unique enough car but like we had people buying uh fucking like nissan skylines and making them one of ones and just everybody drooling at the mouth wanting those cars that's what we're not going to do we're not going to take popular everybody wants to have vehicle and locking them behind a 101 but if you want um certain cars that are like again so like lucy's cupcake car for example it's a fucking cupcake it's a drivable cupcake that's not something that I, you know like if that would be one of one available you get what i'm saying sapphire's peanut yes like that's a such a special car that only saf would would have it makes sense for just saf yeah neat you work at the bakery i would give you keys Derp. it's the bakery. but y'all get what i'm saying you but y'all get what i'm saying right like i'm saying i'm saying that we're not gonna offer one of ones yes jack we've said that forever like you're gonna be able to own a tow truck at some point in time um i'm not gonna offer one of ones but if you have a unique enough vehicle it can be a thing But all right, uh, any more plasma? Did you, what else did you want to talk about? Um, okay, bugs. I know a lot of you guys have been getting a lot better about it, but please, when you guys report bugs, please do your best to give as much information as possible. Like just telling me that house robberies are broken. That, that does not help me. It doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't do anything for Crystal when she goes in there. It doesn't not help us at all. Check your F8s, give us videos, give us pictures. Like it's it's very helpful so that way we don't have to go in and be like, okay, now what the fuck? How do we look at this bug? Because I'm gonna be honest, if if we can't recreate the bug and you don't give us a video, then it's just gonna get archived and we're not gonna look at it. So please, 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 videos, images, F8s, everything. It's very helpful. It makes our life 10 times easier. Please and thank you. Crystal would appreciate you guys a lot. Okay. Other than that, guys, look, like, we're going through these roles. We're trying to get better. Um, we're constantly trying to improve the staff team and how we deal about things. I know we're not perfect. I know there's places that we can improve. All I ask is that you guys keep giving us, you know, con the constructive feedback that we need. Um, and, and things like that. Um, so we're we're doing what we can to make sure you guys have a cool, fucking fun and, and you know safe environment. I don't want anybody to think that they're kind of constantly get banned for shit. Like um, like we're really not ban happy. I understand that there might be a perception that we are, and I'm trying to change that. Um, you know we've got, I've got uh, you know new rule sets with how we're gonna do vehicles. I've like we're, I'm trying to to take away as many rules as possible to let the the role play flow. But if it's dog shit RP, then it's going to be counted like we're going to address it as dog shit RP. I'm not going to give examples on what dog shit RP is. You guys should already know. Right. Um, in terms of like the 18 plus stuff, look, do whatever you want to do. I don't care. Truly, truly, if you do something you're by yourself and the other person that you're doing it with is happy and okay with what you're doing. I don't care. I'm not going to police you. I, I'm just, I'm just being honest. Like I don't like, I'm not going to say it obviously, but I don't care. Right. Keep it out of public view. Keep it off social, off of in game social medias. And don't do don't do anything in public because if somebody reports you for something, 
Y'all are fucking wild in the chat. It's not even what I'm talking. About. I just mean in general. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, just go to your apartments and keep it off Twitter. Nobody wants to see I'm it. Saying, dude, That's, like, it's very simple, guys. You get an apartment for free. Go in there. And uh, wait, can you go in each other's apartments or is that not a thing? Listen, I can make I, that listen, easy. No, listen. Okay, listen. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> no, listen. Don't do that, Alta, bro. It's, it's going to be like one. Li no, sh shut up. I'm not. I'm not saying all I'll say is. The entire plasma. All I'm saying is the rule book, <laughs> right? The entire rule book is up for, can be thrown out based on multiple parties agreeing. Okay. Again, if I catch anybody in the stream oh, doing anything, ex if I do any, if I catch anybody in the stream doing explicit content, you're going to, it's going to be a thing. Okay, real right. talk, just to put it in perspective for you guys. Let's say it does happen at Ulta, and let's say somebody's streaming, right? Look at how that makes the server look. As, as a, like, forget you getting in trouble. Like, look at how that makes the whole Discord community look. It's, it's not good. Okay, just go to your house. Let's put it in another perspective. It violates the 5M terms of service now. So, we have to ban you in order for the city to not get in trouble it violates twitch you can get a streamer banned for some of the shit you do so don't do stupid shit in public that's all do whatever fuck you want if it's just you and another person behind closed doors don't do stupid shit in public um plasma answer your question i don't have an answer for class threes yet i got staff meetings planned for everybody next week and i will come out with an answer for class three weapons after that meeting Other than that, it's been a great town hall. Okay. Thank you guys, truly. I have something no. I have to say, Wesley. Oh, well, you should. Okay, go. Mickey! Oh, so as you guys know, for whitelisted gangs, we do tell you, and people in general that want custom stuff, if you want us to continue keeping your assets in city, you need to be subscribed to the Patreon. There are people who currently have things in city, and they are not subscribed. We know who you are. So come talk to us or your stuff is going to get taken out of city. Thank you. Uh, Plasma and Mickey is next weekend. Mickey is a pro dev, so we just got to convince him to stop doing whatever he is doing. I, I, IRL and come dev for us. Yo, Mickey, quit being a pussy and come, come be a dev, bro. Come on. I'm pretty sure he's still making his own video game. Like, I, I think, I think that's why he can't, but. I need help, man. But like, you can't be like a QB core dev who's like is genuinely brain dead. No, nah, no, nah, Mickey's a. That was that was more a shot at QB core. I'm sure he's not. But like, bro, the amount of people that we've had make tickets that are just they're they're just Weskers. That you know they can change numbers in a file and they they call themselves developers. You know. Okay, so y'all have a wonderful night. Thank you for coming. Um. I genuinely appreciate everybody being here. It means a lot. Keep working with us. We uh, will. Barry wants to say something, Wesker. Oh my God! Yes, Barry. <laughs> I ain't trying to keep anybody here for longer. Than... Where? Where's? Where's Barry at? I hate that you can't raise hands. <laughs> How do I do this? There. Barry, you can talk. Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, shit. It's yes. I have it to push to talk. Hold on. <laughs> uh, I just want to uh, do this really quick. Uh, make sure to follow our Twitter and TikTok. Uh, we have 20. We only need 20 more follows before we hit 100. Um, also, uh, to reiterate, tickets are your friend. Uh, it could be very minuscule. Uh, or something, uh, well, it could be minuscule and just create a ticket, uh, if you need any help, uh, and whatnot. And also, Look, I, sorry, go on, sorry. Also, I want to say, um, if you have any, uh, complaints or, you know, um, or any of that stuff, 
Um, every everyone here in the in the community who are community admin are here for the community. We're here for you guys, um, and our uh, DMs are always open, uh, especially mine. Um, everyone here in the staff and the admin team, you know, we may not be we're not perfect, but I can a hundred percent say, including Wesker, that we are we love this community and we love. Uh, we love this server and we want to make sure this server is fun for everyone and at the same time um making sure that everyone here uh feels safe and no jack i'm not giving you a taser thanks guys seriously y'all have a good night have a good night on city let's fucking hit 100 people again crush records do your thing uh other than that y'all have a great night bye let's keep. Bye. Bye, everybody. Ending the stage. You'll have fun. I love you all.